Hey, good morning, my friends. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa, and we'll look toward the holiday weekend. Right now, both the U.S. model and the European model are showing a batch of rain coming through lower Michigan, mostly the southern half of lower Michigan, late Saturday, Saturday afternoon or Saturday night, and moving out. So right now, much of the daylight hours of the weekend are dry, Maybe the exception Saturday afternoon, but Sunday and Labor Day uh, look like they could be on the dry side. Let's get to it and show you what's going on in the short term. And we got a hurricane, probable hurricane to talk about. Uh, good morning, Chad Later and Dan Dean from Flint. Good morning. Hey, you're a Facebook is telling me you've been a follower for two years, and this is our anniversary. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Facebook has all kinds of data on us, don't they? All right, so dry right now. Here's the upper-level storm system with cold weather, and that's bringing showers across the UP. You could see it on the satellite picture. Plenty of clear skies in lower Michigan, but this will be dropping southeastward. Unstable situation, and as we go through the afternoon, the clouds will develop. The farther south you are, the less cloudiness, and then we will have some scattered showers developing. Hey, Nikki Van Nord, good morning to Wyoming, Michigan. That is. Hey, Mark Wendland, let's hope we get another rain coming for your farm fields on Saturday afternoon. Here is the radar forecast for today. Doesn't show a whole lot, but I think it'll be a little more coverage than what it's showing on here. We are at uh, three o'clock in the afternoon, and the main theme is that as we go through the late afternoon, some scattered showers starting to pop up in the center part of the state, Mount Pleasant and Big Rapids, and maybe uh, maybe Grand Rapids and the Saginaw Bay City and Thumb area, and that's all sunshine driven. So as soon as the sun diminishes and sets, those diminish and end. Uh, someone wants to know, Jennifer, cloud cover on Sunday night for Northern Lights? No, no cloud cover in Traverse City on Sunday night. Looks pretty good. In fact, we'll get into that right now. Here is this U.S. model, and two things we'll look at this is our weather and then uh, what could be Hurricane Dorian. So we are into Thursday, and this is another cold front Thursday afternoon, so Pretty good shot at some showers and thunder showers. Again, diminishing as you go into the southeast. Then we're into Friday, and it's a work skipper Friday, definitely. And then here comes Saturday, and there is Saturday afternoon and evening, and that's the rain, and the European looks about the same Saturday night. And then as we go to Sunday during the day, we have dry weather and also for Labor Day. Then we'll focus down here. Now this is the U.S. model. Remember it's upgraded and so far up here it's been <laughs> no good. But one of the big upgrades is supposed to be for hurricanes and tropical weather. Remember the last couple of years this thing would overblow any type of tropical system turn it into a major major hurricane that's supposedly fixed and the tracks too are supposedly better well we're going to find out because this u.s model takes it and continues to curve it with each run along the florida and southeast coastline so keep an eye on that if you have uh, interest down there the european takes it and cuts it across florida about from uh, oh central east part of the coast to Tampa and on westward and that's a big outlier so we'll see if maybe finally we have a US model that is better than a Europe the European model at doing something I don't know if it's going to be better at our weather up here in Michigan in the winter we'll probably still have to rely on the European uh, someone wants to know let's see Greg wants to know about tippy dam this weekend should be pretty good except for saturday afternoon saturday night could have some showers uh leah hooser uh ann arbor this weekend that saturday afternoon saturday night also 
Coming up to Michigan in mid-October, any weather info, live in Naples, Florida. Well, it's going to be colder here than Naples, I can tell you that much. Here are the high temperatures today. We're 70s and southern lower, 60s and 50s. Then here is uh, Thursday, about 80 degrees and southern lower, real nice. The cold front comes through. Friday's a little cooler, mid-70s, near 70, northern lower in Traverse City. Here's Saturday comfortable about 70 degrees here's sunday a few degrees warmer in the low to mid 70s and labor day upper 70s to about 80 degrees so we still have a little bit of summer weather on the way here's the official forecast from the national hurricane center on tropical storm dorian right now expected to become a hurricane by friday and then curve this way so they are actually taking the U.S. model, the GFS track, and not buying the European track that comes across here. It's going to be interesting. I think the GFS might have it because the European is trying to trend that way. But we'll keep an eye on that for you. And in our weather, this one probably will not have much of an impact because it won't be strong enough to build that big warm ridge around it all the way up to Michigan. If it did have an impact, it'd be when it goes up the east coast early next week, and that would stop any weather from coming into our area from the west. So there you have it today. We're starting with sunshine. We'll cloud up. We'll see variably spotty showers. They're quick ones, five, ten minutes, and not very likely in any one spot. And then we have uh, nice weather for Thursday afternoon. The showers come in, cold front. And on the weekend, only one shot of rain, Saturday afternoon and Saturday night. Thanks for joining me. Diane Penn wants to know weather for the weekend in Reed City. Same as everybody. The showers Saturday afternoon, Saturday night. Otherwise, dry weather. Carl Most, same deal. Saturday afternoon, Saturday night showers. And Rick Rollenhagen in Houghton. You will have off and on showers because you're in the colder weather now. This uh, cooler weather, by the way, um, is going to start to bring on the fall colors that are already showing just a little bit. There you go. Thanks for joining me. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa.